وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَنْ تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَةً Another incident, a very interesting incident indeed. And remember when Moses said to his nation, to his people, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demands from you أَنْ تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَةً That you sacrifice a, a cow. قَالُوا أَتَتَّخِذُنَا هُدُوَا They said, do you make fun of us? Because there was the germs, you know, that they thought that cow is sacred. Now they were being tested on that account. So they wanted to just somehow get away from this. So they said, do you want to make, walk, make fun of us? أَتَتَّخِذُنَا هُدُوَا قَالَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَنَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ Musa said, alayhi salatu wa salam, I take refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from becoming among the jahileen, from those people who are ignorant and foolish. That you don't expect this, that I can make fun of you. I am the messenger of Allah, I am his prophet. You know it very well, you believe in me. And then you are saying that I am making fun of you. They said, call your, your Lord. He should explain for us what type of a cow he wants, what type of a cow he wants that should be sacrificed. قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا فَارِضٌ وَلَا بِكُرٌ Moses said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it should be a cow which is neither too old nor too young. عَوَانٌ بَيْنَ ذَالِكُ Between the two, in between, someone in between. Neither too old nor too young. فَفْعَلُوا مَا تُوبَرُوا Now do what has been commanded to you to do. قَالُوا دُوَ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّ لَنَا مَا لَا نُحَا They again said, again call your Rabb, your Lord. He should explain to us what should be the color of the cow that we should sacrifice. Qala innahu yaqul. Moses said, Allah says, indaha bakaratun safrao. That should be a cow which is yellow colored, faqeul launuha, bright in, in its color, launuha tasurru nazirin, pleasing to the beholders. Whosoever sees, he is pleased to see it. Very shining yellow color. قَالُوا دُوْ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيُّ لَنَا مَعِي Again they said, call your Rabb, call your Allah. He should explain to us, make it clear for us. What is that cow that he wants in sacrifice? إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَ عَلَيْنَا These cows, you know, they are all alike to us. Or we have become confused about the cow. Which type of cow or which cow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to sacrifice. وَإِنَّا إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَمُهْتَدُونَ and we shall be, inshallah, we shall be on guided, and we shall be on guidance. When the things become clear, we don't want to shirk it, we shall do it. But please make everything more clear. He said, Moses said, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is a cow that is not trained to till the soil. La zalulun tusirul lard. Tilling and cultivating the soil. وَلَا تَسْقِلْ حَرَسْ Nor it waters the lands, the fields, from the wells, you know, fetching water. مُسَلَّمَةٌ It should be of one color throughout. لَا شِيَةَ فِيَا There should be no dot of any other color. قَالُوا الْآنَ جَيْتَ بِالْحَقْ Now there was no other option, no other question more to ask. And then they had to say, now you have made everything clear and you have told us the true thing. They were not ready to do it. But they did it. After all, they had to do it. And when you killed a person from amongst you, and then they started dispute over blaming each other as to who killed him. And Allah was to clear out and bring about what you were concealing, what you were hiding. We said, strike this dead body of this person with some part of the body of that cow which was sacrificed. Now what happened when they touched that dead body of the person who was slain, who was killed, who was murdered, with some part of the body of the cow that was sacrificed, he became alive and he told the name of the killer, the murderer who had murdered him and then he again died. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them this sign. 
Kazalik a yuhi Allahul Mawta. In the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring to life all the people who are dead. People who are dead, they will be brought to life. Just as this person who was murdered, who was killed, who was dead before your eyes, and he became alive, and he told the name of the murderer, the killer, and then he again was dead. وَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ And he shows you his signs. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ So that you understand and you ponder upon them. ثُمَّ قَسَتْ قُلُوبَكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكُ Then after all this, your hearts hardened. Hardening of the heart. فَهِيَ أَكَلْ هِجَارَةً and now they are like stones. How ashaddu qaswa. Or harder, more hard than stones even. Thumma qasad qulubakum. This is very important ayah. We must focus our attention. If this thing happened to Bani Israel, this can happen to us. And it has happened to us. The same hardening of the heart. The same hypocrisy, the same wishful thinking, all those things which cropped up in the former Bani Ummah, they cropped up in the, in the present Muslim Ummah also. Summa qasat qulubakum bin ba'di zalik. And then after this, after all this, your hearts hardened. Fayyakal hijarat wa shaddu qaswa. Now they are like stones in hard, hardness or more than them. وَإِنَّ مِنَ الْحِجَارَةِ لَمَا يَتَفَجَّرُ مِنْهُ الْأَنْهَارِ Because there are rocks, there are stones from between which the springs gush out. There are springs gushing out of the stones. وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا لَمَا يَشَقَّقُ And among these stones and rocks are those which split. فَيَخْرُجُ مِنْهُ الْمَا And water comes out of it. وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا لَمَا يَحْبِتُ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ And among the stones and rocks are those to fall due to the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَ اللَّهُ بِغَافِلِ لَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ And Allah is not ignorant of what you are doing. Your deeds, your actions, they are all in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.